it was my first like girls holiday and I just remember telling everyone I'm gonna be on the show I'm gonna be the next factor audition just watch out for me <laughs> Team Vogue, I'm Leanne Pinnock and these are some of my firsts. My first CD, I think, was Busted, their first album. Yeah, I was, a, I was pretty obsessed with that one, but I just remember blasting it in my bedroom every second I could get. It's so random because I don't really even like pop rock, so I don't know why it was my favourite album at the time. It's so weird. My first job was retail, working in House Fraser. So I was working um, on the menswear section, doing a bit of both cashier work and restocking the clothes and whatever. It was just so boring, like hated every second of it. I'm really happy I do what I do now, just saying. <laughs> First time I was really starstruck was when I saw the beautiful Rihanna. Um, we was on the X Factor and I was trying everything to meet her. I just remember I was walking in the hallway, she kind of crossed my path and she was like, oh my God, your hair. It's awesome. And I died, literally. Couldn't speak, didn't know what just happened, couldn't believe it, made my whole entire life. Oh, my first role model. Probably Mel B from the Spice Girls. Because I could look at her and be like, well, I want to do that. Like, I look like you, I want to I wanna do that too. Like, I can do that. Loved the Spice Girls, obsessed. And me and my sister used to always do dances to them. I always looked up to my sister. She did Stars and Rise in school, in primary school, and she was scary. She was Mel B. Yeah, I just used to look at her like, oh my God, she's such a queen. My first pet was an Alsatian called Khalifa, who was amazing, super protective, and my dad's best friend, which was really cute. My first crush was Lil Romeo, obsessed with him. I don't know what it was, I had his posters, just absolutely adored him. And I feel like it was the Romeo show, which was when the real love started. Yeah. My first car was a little black Corsa. I literally felt like the baddest girl ever. Finally, I had freedom, blasting my music, and it was so run down and beat down, but I didn't care. Oh, actually, I remember just getting through to like boot camp or something on the X Factor, and I went out to the car and there was beans all over it. I was like, which hater has put beans on my car? <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness. But whoever did it, I mean, I showed you all, didn't I? So, <laughs> First concert was Craig David, and I just remember sitting right at the back. But yeah, it was still amazing because he's just, he's great, he's wicked. But yeah, we were pretty far back, far away. My first best friend was a girl called Shanice, um, whom we went to primary school together, and we were literally inseparable. Joined at the hip, did everything together. This man, we used to like make up little soap operas and play mums and dads and play The Sims all the time. And like we had our own little TV show as well and we called it Sugar Fantasy. We made like little theme tunes and yeah, we were pretty cringe, but we loved it. So. <laughs> First time I was ever really embarrassed. One vivid memory that really sticks out was when I was doing like a little talent show thing for my hometown. I was singing Sinead O'Connor. I literally did the most horrible bummest note ever. And then I went to sing it again and I did it again. And then I did it again. I kid you not. Like, it's like my whole throat just closed. Oh, it was horrible. Honestly, it was the most embarrassing moment ever. But you know what? I carried on and I didn't let it defeat me. So I was obsessed with Mariah Carey. She's the reason that I wanted to be a singer 100%. Gonna have to say, probably any Mariah Carey song, but Always Be My Baby was like my go-to when I first heard Mariah Carey. And I just thought, yeah, I need to be a singer. Probably sounded like a strangled cat when I was singing her, but you know what? <laughs> I didn't care. I was absolutely obsessed with her. Oh my gosh, I would literally blast it in my bedroom. And my sister especially, shut up, Nian! She was such a hater, but she, <laughs> she was always telling me to shut up. Um, but I'm glad that I never did, because yeah, I'm here now. Ah, oh, my first live performance was probably in primary school. I think I was about nine years old. It was probably horrendous because I was just super shy. Looked at the floor, didn't even look in the audience. Just, yeah, so shy. The first song I ever wrote was, oh, horrendous. <laughs> um, and it went a little something like, he cheated on me, he treated me bad. 
you were in the wrong and you made me strong. See, I love you. Did you love me? Now I'm not too sure because you cheated on me. There you go. <laughs> Number one record. The first time I was recognised in public, I remember a time when I was in River Island and this little girl saw me. This was like just after the show and she literally just started crying, like was hysterical. Like, oh, oh my God. And I was just like, why are you doing that over me? Like, I just couldn't believe why she was acting like that about me because obviously it was so new. And like, yeah, it was, it was, it was like such an amazing feeling knowing that people see us like that. I was like mind blown by that. My first major disappointment. Well, actually, I auditioned for The X Factor when I was 15. I was 14. I think it was the, the first year they put it underneath under 16s could do it. And I didn't get through. And I was so gutted. Like, I really pumped myself up. I was so excited. And then it was a no. So yeah, that was probably like my first when I was around 14. First recording session. Well, I used to go um, when I was a bit younger, maybe around maybe like 14, 15, when I was kind of first getting into it. But yeah, I've been writing songs since I was little. I had the songs all in my email. Some of them actually aren't too bad. Some of them I'm actually quite proud of. The first vacation I went on my, well, my friends to, I Bifa, and it was me and my best friend Hannah. It was my first like girls holiday. It was just before The X Factor. And I just remember telling everyone um, I'm gonna be on the show, I'm gonna be in the X Factor I audition, just watch out for me. Like, do you ever remember the film Fantasia? The Disney one. And it was quite strange. I feel like I went to see that when I was younger, like on a school trip or something. I can remember that when I was quite young. Really weird film. I have no idea what my first word was. Probably mama. Or dada, because I was a daddy's girl. Probably that. First red carpet, I feel like was on the X Factor, and I think it might have been Twilight. Went to see the premiere for Twilight. And that was just like, wow. Because I think like when you're growing up and obviously like wanting to be a singer, like that's like the dream, like red carpet, cameras, pictures, like paparazzi, and you kind of just like dream of things like that. It was just so overwhelming. Like I couldn't believe that I was actually there. Oh, first big splurge was buying myself a MacBook. And I couldn't believe that I could afford a MacBook. Like, because after the show, like we've got a, like a little bit of money that we'd never seen in our lives. And I'd also actually, I remember going to River Island, um, a shop in the UK and just did a massive shop. And I couldn't believe that I could actually just buy all these clothes. Like it was just surreal. First thing I would do if I had a billion dollars, oh my goodness. I would give a lot of it all to my family, buy them all, well, big houses, lots of charities. I would probably build like animal sanctuaries. Yeah, I would, I would use it to help people. I um, experienced a lot of negativity growing up. People saying that I couldn't do it. And a lot of it came from my hometown, but it never stopped me. I, oh, I never ever listened to them. And I kid you not, like every single person that I met, I told them I was gonna be a pop star. I told them that I was gonna be a superstar. And I said it to myself every day and I just, that was all that I wanted to do. And I know I was planning to go to uni and do all these things, but I just knew in my heart and the back of my head that it was always gonna be, it was always gonna be this. Never questioned it. Thank you all for watching. I love you guys. Mwah.